Thank you for joining me today and welcome to my channel. So today I have a question on YouTube. Someone asking, someone asked the question saying how to configure MongoDB settings. Can you explain? So I wanted to, you know, explain a little bit with this our quiz app, which will be first um, to describe how you can populate um, quiz questions into your database. I will also show you how to set up your MongoDB and um, set up your uh, .env file locally and you're able to populate data into your MongoDB. How to set up your MongoDB file and how to use Node to populate the quiz question into your MongoDB using your connection string. Okay, so join me here. So the question is um, how to configure MongoDB setters. Can you explain? So first, let's go to MongoDB and I'm going to sign in here using my email address and password is here. Login. Okay, so now we are in. Here I have all the questions that I've already generated. Then I want to go back to the app and go to back end where I have the quiz data. So the data is in this file. Now I want to change this data and I want to have another set of data using this format. So what I'm going to do is first to go generate the questions and also the answers. Let's... So here on MongoDB, I can go here I and create a new project. So for this project, I'm going to call it um, quiz data. Quiz data, nothing here. Next, you know, add permissions, add members. You know, that's fine. I can create a um, project. So once I'm on here, I'll have to create a deployment. Click on here. I'm going with a free tier. Um, this fine. Add sample data set. No. AWS West Virginia. This is fine. There are other options. You can, you know, choose anyone that is closest to you. And uh, I'll create the deployment. So once this deployment is created, now it's, it's wanting to create a user. Not necessary. Okay, I can, you know, call this an admin and have this password also created. I can copy this out and know that, you know, I can create this database. So choose a connection method. So connection method, I'm using MongoDB for VS Code. So I'm using this on my VS Code. I can go on here and look for the connection string. So you see the connection string for the quiz is or for my database is going to have the username is also going to have the password then the rest of the connection string so what i will do is to click on here to copy that and i'll come back to my code since this is still for the back end i'll go for go here and see where you have this on here okay i'll comment this out so this is the URI I'll be using or the connection string for my database that I'll be using. The database, I'm still going to call it quiz data. You don't have to set that beforehand. Then, you know, this is the, I call this admin, but it's not going to use this anymore. It's, still, it's just going to use this connection string. So where is going to use this, you see? This is where I'm going to put my data. And this is the, is the script that is going to populate um, this data. So this is just a JavaScript. So it's going to use uh, Mongo's. You have the questions, which is going to come from questions.js. So questions.js, first, what it's going to also do is to look at the options and look at the question itself, a schema that looks at, through the questions and know what the answer and the number is. And it's going to export this to our uh, public um, db.js and it's going to 
copy all this data and you see where the this is where i'm you know calling the connection string on here using um dot env because i saved my connection string in dot env file so it's going to call this on here and it's going to push the data to my database then once we do this we can go back to confirm if this is um, generated so once we've copied the connection string we don't need to have um, this on here I can close and go back to and close all this ones out go back to database for you to see there is nothing in here I go to my collection there is zero database once we run once we have the data in the data.js then the question.js is going to populate js is going to copy the data to our database or to our collection okay so here i have all the questions ready i actually made this um, minimal is not necessary um, maybe less than 20 questions you can make this more if you're able to get um, questions that will be enough for your quiz and I still left the old one on here you know just to view uh, and but I'm going to use this new one that I've created so a few things to fix on here and uh, everything looks good not enough question up to 50 but that is fine i will open my terminal on here go to terminal new terminal and um first of all i will start up my front end i will get in here and run npm run dev okay application is uh running name okay so make sure you have this dot env dot local created which is this running and this is the port is running on the local host slash api slash questions next i'll open another terminal this will be for the back end okay see our quiz on here but nothing is going to show yet because i don't have um data for the connection string that we have right now so if i sign in no question is showing so back to the terminal i will have to start up the back end close the front end the back end okay so npm run start the front the back end is started let's see if there is anything in our quiz nothing because i haven't populated the new data yet let's see at email.com nothing yet okay so back here and i'll open another terminal because i have these two things running i will go here and uh, let me close out this close out this and close out this so this is the new data we have and so the scripts that we are going to run here remember this is for the back end our concentration is to run this script that will be node let me be sure where i am ls i have to cd into back end then i'll do node and let it work okay connection established data successfully imported to mongodb okay let's cross check that on here we are here i'll refresh and let's see oh yeah you see our new data is in here so it's 16 questions so this is all good uh back on here i see that uh back end is still running front end is still running let's check out our quiz and see and uh, email.com and see if 
okay it's not working yet let me stop the back end and start it again so this is the back end i can cancel this and start it again so it's connected to mongodb let's refresh this okay it's still not in there but we have our questions here let's go back to our code and see if there's something we may we are missing on here with connection string okay so connection string let me be sure that the string is connecting to so the back end this is the new connection let's check the front end if it's connecting to Oh, this one is still for the API but here since we are switching to local I will have to use this instead okay now I'm going to copy this copy this and comment this paste it on here copy this one And have this pasted here okay you see our back and data is now showing yep let's load our application again oh it's on here already let's refresh at email.com start quiz the questions are here so you can answer randomly now i'm just going to answer everything and um get to the end of it all right uh we are in the last question and voila we are done you can reset and start all over again so remember a few things you have to change is first you have to populate your question and this is going to be in the back end so the back end you have to populate your questions in this data.js this is where you're going to have your questions once you have these questions you see it into the back end and you do node node the script it will run and push this data to your database once it is in your database you come back here to to your dot env and make sure you have your connection string on here and also go to the front end and be sure that the front end is connecting to the api of the back end which is the local host and the port and all that okay that will be all and uh Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.